Okay, YouTube, stocks by the numbers. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick update video here on just some of the call-outs I've been making in the shorter term here, uh, throwing them out in the Discord channel. If you haven't already joined the Discord, it's in the description of every single video that I upload. So if you guys ever want to come in, you're looking for any ideas or any advice, or uh, you, you want to give us one of your recommendations, perhaps, or, you know, again, if you just want to shoot the shit, you can come in, you can hang out in the Discord. I know it's a pain in the ass for a lot of people watching, because I know... Everyone and their brother always sets up their own Discord and tells you to join the Discord. So, you know, again, a, a lot of the plays I make have been working out on the YouTube channel in the videos. So, um, again, those are more longer-term plays. You know, again, leaning more towards uh, longer-term investing as opposed to shorter-term trading. So, you know, if that's what you're doing now, if you're just buying shares and, and you're more of a long-term player, you don't like to make that many trades a year, obviously, then the videos and the channel overall is really right up your alley. But, uh, of course, on the flip side, I know we have a lot of, you know, potentially younger, um, you know, more hungry, more aggressive traders. And that's fine, however you want to do it. But, you know, I just wanted to mention, again, like in the Discord here, this was yesterday, right? And you can see in the morning for the first couple of hours going up to about 12 o'clock, uh, this is the this is the Dow we're looking at. And you can see we were kind of in this rising wedge. Of course, that's right where I called the put out at the top of the trend line. And you can see... It uh, obviously immediately broke out and then kind of retested to get back into that wedge and then since kind of bounced down. Now, obviously, you could have taken profits right here. Uh, it rebounded a little bit, basically almost forming a double top there. And then, of course, cratered in about the last 90 minutes of the day. Uh, had a lot of people taking profits, very happy with that. And then, of course, we opened today even lower. So even if you held it and let's just say uh, you were restricted, right, and you met your maximum number of day trades, obviously it worked out for you going into the next morning. Now, since then, we have been climbing and um, in the Discord as well. I think it was like right around here, like right before it dipped and, and bounced back up, forming that double top here. It was like right here, maybe like 2.30-ish where I called out uh, puts on the Dow. Again, that ETF for the Dow is uh, ticker symbol DIA is the Dow 30 ETF. So uh, when the Dow Jones goes down, DIA goes down and vice versa. So you can play your, pull, your uh, calls and your puts respectively. But uh, again, you can see we dipped down. We rose back up to make that double top apparently. And then, of course, we dipped down. And we broke out through this bottom trend line and you can see it bouncing for the last several minutes just along that bottom trend line. Now it's climbing back into the range, very surprisingly to me. Uh, in my opinion, it should reject there and start to pull back down. But uh, either way, I, you know, I, I still feel that the Dow, in my opinion, is a little too high and should come down. I mean, again, we were on our way back down to that mark that I mentioned of about 33,500 and then, of course, we're just randomly climbing here for no reason. And they want to make it act like the, uh, you know, the markets are stable and everything's okay. And then, of course, on a day like today, you may be sitting there saying, oh, you know, everything's looking good, so I'm going to buy this. And then tomorrow, that's when they crash it down several hundred points. And you're screwed because you're in at the top. And now it's on its way down. And every analyst is saying bearish. And now there's a YouTube video from some schmuck saying that it's in a downtrend and if you're in, you should get out, but you just bought the freaking thing. So now you got to immediately take a loss. So believe me, you know, I, I understand it's always a pain in the ass really, but you know, at the end of the day, again, simple logic and common sense sometimes trumps all and could really help cut through all the bullshit that you see and read about and hear about in the market and just help you make some educated decisions. Again, I felt the Dow should be down. You know, they, they had it down and then, you know, randomly it's been running up. Now it's a couple of points positive. We're approaching, as you see, it's 257 right now as of this video. So we're approaching that 3, 330 mark. So, you know, usually, usually, actually, you know, it's not even sometimes. It's usually you'll just random, randomly see just a random break or some bullshit pop happen just in the last like 20, 30 minutes of the day. So... In my opinion, again, they may try to bring it up, it looks like, back into this channel, but, you know, you, you never know. Inside of the next 30, 40 minutes, we can just completely crash back down, like, to this trend line and drop down to 33.86. And obviously, if you're seeing this video, yeah, that's about a 100-point drop, so if you want to get in some puts, you can take advantage. Again, looking at the Discord, you can see short-term call-outs for June 22nd, 
And you can see at 12.11, I called puts on QQQ, which is the NASDAQ ETF, as we see here. And uh, where are we? 12.11. Here we are, right here. So you can see right here, markets are absolutely raging as I'm speaking. But you can see right here at 12.11, I called the puts out because we kind of broke out of this wedge. And of course, it rose, but then slowly started to pull back. And boom, we had a big drop here at around 1 o'clock. Uh, a couple of people in the Discord mentioned that... Uh, they flipped it real quick. They made a quick 15, 20% profit. So obviously we're happy with that. And now, of course, it has been rising. And honestly, yeah, around here, this whole channel up, I was saying to buy puts on QQQ also with the NASDAQ. I mean, with the uh, Dow, excuse me. And of course, you can see it, it, it kind of like button hooked out, dropped down. And now it's just rising, being pumped up here. And again, that might add to the theory that I just mentioned, right? If they're planning to really tank it down at like 330, 340, then uh, you got to bring it up before you bring it down, right? So this all might be according to plan, even though, uh, you know, it's just absolutely raging here. But uh, also at 103, you can see puts on DraftKings. We'll come over to DraftKings real quick. And I just want to back up here. We do like a one. Oh, no, we're on LAC. <laughs> I'm like, wait, this doesn't look right. But uh, yeah, here we go. So you see, again, this is basically like our trend line for the last couple of days. And of course, if you back it out again, when I did the older videos on DraftKings, I spoke about this level right here, like this 26, like 40, 26, 45 level, right? And you can see right here, just uh, a few days ago, Wednesday on the 7th, you can see the stock went up. Look at the high, 26.65, got above that mark, and then of course rejected and came back down and has kind of been slightly selling off since then. But, uh, where was it? 103. And you can see here, I mentioned it was in this channel and I marked out that price note there at 2585. Again, that, that's basically that, that top trend line. See for the, for the last couple of days again, but, um, basically I mentioned, yeah, it could get, get up to 2585 and then break down out of the channel, but it should technically break out of the channel and it should pull back, uh, puts on DraftKings called out at 103 right here 103 and you can see it got to the bottom trend line tried to climb and bounce back to the middle of that channel and then has since not really broken the channel but you know kind of just slipped out and now it's basically gone sideways so i mean technically i guess like your break even right however it may have hit that high that that we spoke about and it may be getting ready to start pulling back of course again the NASDAQ and the Dow have been consistently climbing for the last few hours, uh, in my opinion, really for no reason. So, again, uh, once they start coming down, a lot of the other calls we made are, are going to work out and come to fruition as well. Uh, random steam friend. That's why I tell you guys, when you are doing short-term calls, even if that's how you want to trade, um, you know, in a market like this, if you're going to do a day trade, uh, just like uh, that one person did on the QQQ puts I mentioned before, uh, you know, got in, they started to pull back, options started to move 15, 18, 20%, boom, that's it, good, I'm out. That's my profit for the day, fantastic. You're in, you're out. So in this market, you really do kind of have to be in and out because it is extremely unpredictable. And uh, again, even a situation like this, you know, in my heart of hearts, I believe that the Dow is going to pull back uh, significantly. And again, it's climbed back up here to almost 34 K. It should be much lower than that. So again, if you were able to buy the DIA puts, but you were able to buy some time, even if it doesn't work out right away, if you see it the next day and it's up, you know, just slightly 20, 30 points about to top out on another potential trend line, then that's when you can step in again and potentially double or triple down and add more to the put position for a much, much cheaper price. But hey, if you have, you know, a couple of weeks or a couple of months left on the contracts, you're, you're just waiting. You're, you're just waiting for that big drop and then it's going to work out nicely for you. Uh, I also mentioned here again the Apple Play that I recently made a video on, AAPL, Apple Computer. And uh, you can see, yeah, we're going to back it up here. We're going to do like a one-year chart because, again, you can see basically since the ball dropped, the stock has been ascending very tightly now in this ascending wedge, and it's only a matter of time before it breaks down. Now, again, in my opinion, look, you can see here probably within the next four or five days, that's kind of where I drew my apex, saying that it should pull back to this trend line here of about 166, 
which will be a really nice play if you get involved in some puts, especially on a day like today where it just continues to rise. However, again, I did stretch it out. You can go back and watch that video, and I did mention that it could potentially take until the end of July if they really want to be fake and, and pump up these tech stocks and continue to climb the NASDAQ for no reason for the next four or five weeks. But again, if, you, if we buy time, yeah, we get in here at around 187, and it sucks because it climbs up to 194. However, again, whatever you bought, it's probably much, much cheaper now, and you can load the boat even more. Just And again, if it stays in this channel the whole time as well, you're going to be pissed. However, it's basically going to just be that much more concrete evidence and confirmation that it is in a long-term ascending wedge, and it will eventually break down, right? You know what I'm saying? So again, you might have been a little early to the party, but you're still going to have a great time, right? We'll look at it like that. What else we have here? As I laid out, and then yes, of course, the last call was the uh, puts that I called out on the Dow, uh, which of course, uh, it, it's uh, it's funny. I just laugh because like it never works out immediately, right? As soon as I call out puts, it'll climb. Or if I say, oh, this is a buy, you know, sometimes it, it doesn't immediately go up and it drops first. But as we see here, as I'm speaking, the Dow has now dropped below that trend line again, this bottom trend line, and uh, looks like a big candle down here. So I'm going to end it there so you guys can try to see the video before the close. So once again, stocks by the numbers, like the video, uh, thumbs up algorithm, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That's all I ask. That's our handshake agreement. I'll keep making these videos, giving you guys short-term ideas, long-term ideas. Uh, you give me a symbol, I'll analyze it and tell you whether it's a decent company or it's a piece of crap. And all I ask, handshake agreement, I'll keep doing that you subscribe to the channel. That's all I ask. That's how we help each other. And uh, moving forward, like I always say, I understand that markets are rocky and volatile and uncertain. Dow right now approaching that 20-day simple moving average. Okay, I got to go.